In this video, we'll be talking about the centrifuges, types of centrifuges, and how to operate a centrifuge. A centrifuge is a device for separating particles from a solution according to their size, shape, density, viscosity of the medium, and rotor speed. In a solution, particles whose density is higher than that of the solvent sink that is sediment and particles that are lighter than it float to the top the greater the difference in density the faster they move there are four major types of centrifuges they are small bend centrifuges large capacity refrigerator centrifuges high speed refrigerator centrifuges and ultra centrifuges in ultra centrifuges there are two types preparative ultra centrifuge and analytical ultra centrifuge small bend centrifuges they are used to collect small amount of material that rapidly sediment like yeast cells rbcs etc they have maximum relative centrifugal field of 3000 to 7000 relative centrifugal force large capacity refrigerator centrifuges they have refrigerator rotor chambers and capacity to change rotor chambers for varying size. They can go up to maximum of 65,000 relative centrifugal force. High speed refrigerator centrifuges. They can generate a speed of about 60,000 relative centrifugal force and are used to collect microorganisms, cellular debris, and large cellular organelles. Ultra centrifuges. There are two types of ultra centrifuge preparative ultra centrifuge and analytical ultra centrifuge in preparative ultra centrifuge it can produce relative centrifugal force of about 6 lakh and its chamber is refrigerated sealed and evacuated it is employed for separation of macromolecules separation of various lipoprotein fractions from plasma and deprotonization of physiological fluids for amino acid analysis the other classification of centrifuges are based on the design and types of rotors used. So there are four types. They are swinging bucket rotors, fixed angle rotors, vertical tube rotors and zonal rotors. For containing the samples, centrifuge tubes and bottles are available in different ranges of size, thickness and rigidity from different varieties of materials including cellulose, polycarbonates, nylon, etc. The type of the container used will depend upon nature and volume of sample to be centrifuged along with the centrifugal force to be withstood. Glass centrifuge tubes are suitable only for centrifugation at low speeds as they disintegrate at higher centrifugal fields. Thin wall tubes may be used in swinging bucket rotors because the tube is protected by the surrounding bucket. However, thick wall tubes are required with fixed angle and vertical tube rotors. First, we'll turn on the centrifuge by switching on the main switch which is at the extreme side. After that, we'll press open button so as to open the main lid. Then, we'll remove another lid and there we have to load our samples. Always make sure that the samples should be balanced properly. Then we just have to close the lid and also we have to close the main lid. Now we can set the time, speed and temperature. The time we can set with the help of the time knob. Here I'll set it to 10 minutes. And with the help of arrow keys, we can also set the temperature. I'll set it to 4 degrees Celsius. And then with the help of speed knob, we can set the required speed. Here I'll set it to 13,000 RPM. Now we'll press the start button. We can see it is centrifuging our samples according to the data which we have set on it. A 
after our required time is reached, it would automatically stop. And now we can take our samples by simply pressing the open button. And taking our samples out, we'll close the centrifuge 